Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, we decided that since this is going to be like the first blog back, that we do it by <laughs> video. Yay! So, um, and we've never done really a long video before, so. But we're going to try to make it not too long. Well, we'll try. Um, okay, so we wanted to talk about the Lynch Foundation show. Um, that, that was, was last, last night. night. And it was in LA, as you guys all know. And um, I don't know. It, it was good. It was a great show to begin mm -hmm. with. Um, the performers were very good. I thought I was going to be bored, to be perfectly honest. And so I was very concerned about going. Um, I thought it was, was going to be, you know, a little odd. Not necessarily yeah. what we're used to. No, not odd. I, I won't even lie. I don't like David Lynch. I really don't. Um, I'm not into his stuff at all. And so I was very concerned, and especially after I bought the ticket and, of course, found out that Duran Duran was, of course, coming out here for one stupid song. One. So anyway. So, yeah. So we had uh, perhaps maybe low expectations about what the show was going to be like because yeah. of these things. David Lynch, one song, yada, yada, yada. Um, but that said, as things got closer, we got there, we saw the program, Duran's listed as playing the chauffeur and something else, but then we're hearing some other rumors of that they're playing something different, and that there's all these rehearsal pictures, and a little confused. Why would you need to do so many rehearsals yeah. for one song that's supposed to be greatest, a greatest hits kind of song? There's um, a lot of It builds of a lot of anticipation, mm -hmm. I guess I would say. Yeah. So, so we went into the show not knowing. We saw yeah. the program. We tweeted it out. And even as we're going through the show, I could feel like myself getting more and more excited because I knew they were going to be on stage soon. And um, then finally, finally, they come out. You know, they um, we see the techs bringing out all the equipment and stuff. It didn't take very long. I have mm -hmm. to say, they were super fast. They're very and, efficient. Show yeah, up. really, mm -hmm. really efficient. And so then they came out and um, they... they Go ahead. Started with the chauffeur. Yeah. <clears throat> and that was that was good. But it was what you know what was interesting is that we're so used to being in a Duran show where everybody's immediately like up on their feet, cheering loudly. Yes. People didn't know how to react. Because well, yeah, the audience Duran. wasn't the same. Right. And so that's that's always interesting to try and, to observe. Yeah, it was really weird because we got mm -hmm. up because well, That's what we do. And um there was no one else up. And I immediately was like, Oh, I'm sitting down because that's me. And um you know, it was okay. Um, I was up and down quite a bit, but it was uncomfortable. And I knew that there were people behind me that were probably plotting for my death. And so I looked behind and made sure that no one was really mad. And it was okay. Um, the the chauffeur itself, though, the song, mm -hmm. they did great. I yeah. mean, I didn't yeah. notice it being weird. I mean, mm -hmm. I think maybe it was weird for them because they're coming out on stage and there was no energy, you know, like that. And the room was very different. Well, and on top of that... The, the stage setup was such that it was, you know, Dom, Simon, John really up and trying to spin. Nick and Roger were way, way back. Really way so back. There's I mean, very little interaction between. There was no, the, yeah, there the was five none. of them in the same way. No. And so it wasn't like a regular show in that respect. Um, so they finished the chauffeur. Simon talked quite, right? Yep, he talked quite a bit. Mentioned yeah. about David Lynch doing on stage, mentioned about sausage, sausage slapping. Is. And I got a little concerned it was going to have become undone. Not my favorite, as no. we all know. Um, so I, I believe and I uttered I some, <laughs> some phrases about, uh, please don't play that song, please don't play that song. Yeah. Um, but it led into Ordinary Worlds. And I thought they did a really fabulous job with that one. Yeah, time. no, it was really good. And I think for Amanda and I, we were like, yes, we're getting back to normal. This mm -hmm. is good. Mm -hmm. Because we're turning to our Ordinary as, World. Yeah, as mm -hmm. everyone knows. You know, we, we did take a break from blogging, but even before that, you know, for three years, we've been blogging, at, you know, well, longer than that, four years, but three without really the band, mm -hmm. you know, doing their fair share, to be perfectly honest. And so it, it you know, it feels like we're finally getting back to normal, which mm -hmm. is really great. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, they finished up with, that's right, Hungry Like the Wolf. Yeah. Yay. And I have to tell you, we were up on our feet like complete <laughs> idiots. Idiots. <laughs> Um, but how can you not? I mean, hello, Dojo. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, there's and, that. And I mean, and honestly, I mean, the rest of the, the audience, the rest of the audience jumped up and got they really did. involved too. So there was that a was lot. Fun. There was an awful lot of um, dancing going mm -hmm. on and people in the aisles and stuff. And that was really cool. Um, I It really did bring down the house. I mean, I have to say, I was mm -hmm. really impressed with that. Even after all this time, they're still able to do that. And they that, looked like they enjoyed themselves too. I thought they mm -hmm. did. I mean, I, 
They seemed like they did. Mm -hmm. I hope so, because they better be coming back on tour very soon. Um, please, please. And so then that just led us to think about, you know, how why? really, truly, how great it was to see them on stage again. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it's like, yeah, we missed them. We really, really did. Yeah. And it felt so, just so right and so good just to see them. Yeah, on and they stage. just don't get it. I don't, I really don't think that the band understands how much that interaction matters. And I don't mean the social stuff. I know all about the social media and stuff. I'm talking about just like when you are there and they're there and you're, you know, you're together. You know, that's Listening the, to their music, yeah. watching them perform. It matters. It really does. And so when you don't have that for that long time, you know, you drift away, you get bored. You know, I mean, we've been bored. So it's it's been tough. And so it's really... I think if anything, it just kind of lit a fire underneath the two of us, and and we talked, you know, about what we want to do going forward and stuff. And so, um, it was good for that respect. I mean, mm -hmm. I guess I could say renewed our spirits a little. Yeah, bit. it did, mm -hmm. and and I think we all need that definitely. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's great that they're coming out with new music, but it would be really nice if they'd actually come and play it. Just mm -hmm. saying. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I think uh, you know, look for some some vlogs in the future, and maybe. We'll go from there. Yep. So I think that's it for this for yeah. this video log. I, I hate yeah. that word vlog. Whatever. It's irritating. But yeah, so we'll talk to you guys soon. All right. All right. Bye. Bye.